um, a lot of people are wondering, like, if the vaccine um, doesn't, like, start effectively um, slowing down COVID immediately after um, it's kind of, like, distributed, um, what would what will the process look like after that, I guess? I want to use a cowboy expression. We're hanging our hats on the vaccine. You know, if you look at any disease we've really successfully combated or the few that we have completely eliminated, it's entirely based on vaccines. We don't ever get to herd immunity by just letting people get sick because we just don't get enough people sick to, to get there. So we're, we're, we are relying on the vaccines. And so far, these two mRNA vaccines are about 95% effective. So when I get the vaccine, 95% of the time, if I get COVID a month or so after that, I'm not gonna have a serious go of the illness. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get sick still, but nowhere near as uh, difficult uh, of an illness. Um, the, I, I don't know that we have a contingency plan for, for if the vaccines don't work because they have been our best source of disease eradication in the last hundred years. I will tell you that in broad terms, there are four different types of vaccines um, and this is the first time we've ever had an mRNA vaccine. And on the tails of this mRNA vaccine is another type of vaccine that sort of tricks the body into taking in a viral particle by putting the, the mysterious virus inside of adenovirus. So there are, there are, there's a second wave of vaccines coming. So I think that even if these mRNAs are not as great as they seem to be so far, I think we, we've got another wave of vaccines coming that will, will pick up some of the slack. 